Howdy YouTube, I am Mystery, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review and demonstration of this mole and spot removing pen. I picked this up on Amazon for under $20 and I will leave a link to this exact pen in the description box below so that you can check it out for yourself. Now what I like about this pen is it actually works and you don't have to go and spend hundreds of dollars at the dermatologist you can actually do this from the privacy of your own home, which is really cool. So I will show you exactly what it came with. It comes with this instruction manual that's in English and Chinese. It comes with these uh, five little pins. These are actually used for skin tags. The one that I have on here right now is more for moles. Um, but it works the same way. You can actually, I just prefer this one and then it comes with the USB charger. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to plug it in as soon as you get it and make sure that it's fully charged before you use it because you want optimal results. So once you um, have it fully charged you'll know because these little uh, one where it says one two three those will be red and then they'll turn green when it's fully charged. Um, now that it's fully charged you can turn it on, which is you hold this, this button right here, and it'll say one, two, three. So one is the most ineffective, level two is more effective, and level three is very effective. But with each increase in number, it's also going to increase in pain. So I recommend using level two, because level two is kind of a happy medium, it's effective, and it's not as painful. Now some people say that you can use a numbing cream and you just go over the spot or the mole with the numbing cream, let it sit for two minutes, and then remove the cream and then you go over it. So I select level two, which is you just push this button again, and then if you want level three, you push it again. And uh, So once you have the desired level that you want, you're going to hold this button that says out, and you're going to hold that down, and you're going to see the light turn green kind of a greenish yellow and then you're gonna go over the mole or the spot now you can also uh, I don't know if I mentioned this you can go over it with ice because that also numbs it you know hold the ice on there for two minutes and then remove it and then wipe the area down because you don't want it to be wet and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in a crisscross pattern let's say the mole is round right here you're gonna go in a crisscross pattern this way and then you're gonna go this way and you're going to want to stack those lines, you know, almost on top of each other so that you're covering the entire mole. And it is a little bit painful only because I didn't actually use any numbing cream. You can do it the same way that I did or you can use numbing cream. It's up to you. Um, but once it's actually done, you're going to see it's just going to be kind of like a, almost it almost looks like a burnt spot and that's kind of what this is doing is it's actually burning the mole down to the base. So you're going to leave that alone, maybe put a band-aid on it, whatever. Just make sure you don't pick at the scab because it's going to scab up in the next two days and then about two to three weeks the scab will fall off and you'll have a pinkish, reddish scar wherever the mole was and it's just a give and take, you know, do you want the mole or would you rather have the pink and red scar? So it's up to you. Um, but yeah, it actually worked for me. I removed a few on my arm and I think you can see there's one scar from one that I removed. I'll try to get in there closer. So to me, that's a lot better than actually having a mole there. Um, but yeah, if you found this video uh, helpful, then um, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do uh, different reviews and unboxing of gadgets and gizmos just like this. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.